Hi, this is David from Barista Lab, and uh, for this really quick video, we wanted to feature the PID and uh, show some of the simple settings, the temperature changing settings, um, because this is a really standout feature on this machine. And so let's just uh, take an in-depth view, not too in-depth, but we'll just show you how easy it is to change temperatures on this machine. Okay, so let's, uh, this is the PID right here, and when you're changing the PID, uh, one of the things is you want to be careful um, if your machine is already heated up, uh, not to touch the E61 group, because it is hot, so I recommend if you change the PID, do it when the machine is still cold, or um, mind your fingers. So this machine has been on for um, a while. It's warmed up. Um, you can see it's at 200 degrees um, for the coffee boiler. And the steam boiler is not on, so that's why you're seeing that 84 degrees. Um, when the PID, PID displays both the, the coffee boiler temperature and the steam boiler temperature. It's not the actual temperature that's in the boilers because it is a program offset differential, which means that uh, that is closer to the temperature of the water uh, coming out of the brew group than uh, the water that's actually in the coffee boiler. So the coffee boiler water is actually a bit hotter than 200 degrees. Um, so when the decimal is blinking on the left, uh, that is the coffee boiler temperature. You can see right there, it's at 199 right now. And when the PID blinks to the right, that is the steam boiler pressure. Now you can think of the PID as uh, a helmsman driving a ship. Um, it's not going to be exactly right on. It's always adjusting. Um, kind of like a helmsman is. He's trying to steer the ship straight. He's constantly going to be adjusting left. He's constantly going to be adjusting right. It's never going to be, you know, dead on. So that is, the PID is not perfect, but it has the capability of maintaining that um, within one to two, one degree about of uh, the temperature that you set it at. So you saw that our temperature was, our temperature is set at 200 degrees, and you saw that it's at 199. So that's what I mean. It's always going to be within one or two degrees, which is uh, pretty accurate for an espresso machine, especially a home espresso machine. Um, so let's go over quickly how you would change the temperature. It's pretty simple. Um, again, mind your hands. So I'm going to be, try to be very careful. What you want to do is you see these up or down arrows. These two arrows. Um, basically are able to change all of the PID settings and temperature. So to get into the temperature setting while the machine is on, you hold them both down at the same time. So there you go. T1, that is the temperature for the coffee boiler. If you want to see the current temperature, and oh, I just uh, touched the E61 <laughs> brew group there. Ooh, it's a little hot. Um, if you want to see the current temperature, you press the up arrow, and from there, uh, you push up or down to change the temperature. So up, if I want to go up, keep pressing up. If I want to go down, uh, nope, so that's the steam boiler. So let's go back to the, uh, so if I want to go up, right, here we go. If I want to go down, hmm, see it changes pretty fast, so you got to be fast. If I want to go up, down, um, so it's fairly easy to change. Uh, when you get to your desired temperature, you pretty much just pause, switches back to the main setting for the coffee boiler temperature. And if you want to set the steam temperature and to get and to save that setting, uh, go down, press the down arrow, and T2 is for the steam boiler. Uh, do the same process to change the temperature for this one. Go up, so right now it's set at 255, or down. And once you come to your temperature, uh, 
stop pushing buttons and it goes back to T2 and to save this all you have to do is push the down and you're back into the main display for the PID and uh, that is just a very simple walkthrough of how to quickly change temperature um, on the PID for the Alex Duetto. Um, if you go deeper into the settings there is a lot of uh, different settings that you can change, um, like the amps. You can change between uh, 15 to 20 amp, um, and you can change the, I believe you can change the program offset differential, and you can change a lot of the PID settings. Um, and if you want to know more, uh, we'll have the full menu uh, below this video in the blog, um, so check that out. And uh, if you have any questions or anything, uh, please you know post in the comment section. And uh, this is from the blog of Breeze Lab, blog.breezelab.com. And if you want to check out this machine and uh, any other PID controlled machines or professional quality espresso machines for your home, check out baristalab.com. Um, we're located in Los Angeles, California. Thank you very much. That's it.